Good morning, Jill's here. I want to go through and show you a little bit of WaveTrack Online. I also want to show you the benefit of combining FWD and GTR and how powerful that benefit is. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to sign on to the account. I'm going to sign on with my email, my password, and let's jump right into surface analysis using WaveTrack Online. And right away, I want to pull up a file that has a very strong example of showing how to determine the structural change in your section using both FWD and GTR on one vehicle. And our technique is very powerful in, in helping you do this. Okay, so here we go. So I'm going to show you a file uh, here, which this data was collected with a Jill's 20 FWD trailer with a front-mounted GSSI 2 gigahertz horn antenna, GPR system, using their SIR-20 two-channel controller. And we've had great success with their equipment. We love GSSI's equipment. And we've actually gone so far to integrate it with our FWD as well as automate um, a, an automatic GPR auto processing routine which actually processes the GPR file in real time at each test point and dumps that information into a data file. So in this particular test you can see we have great FWD file quality of 9.23 um, again anything from close to 9 or 10 is, is very good which means the operator did a great job and the machine was working properly you have a GPR scan quality which is in the upper 90s or the mid 90s, 95%. That, that also tells us that we have high confidence in our GPR data. And as soon as I open this file, you can see we have mapping and street view capabilities. But I'm going to skip that for a second. I'm going to go right into showing you the structural information and how powerful this um, information is. Okay. So what I'm going to do is you can scale the GPR data. So I'm going to scale this so that I can zoom in on this section of GPR data. So I'm going to click 15950, I'm sorry. And as soon as I do that, you'll see that um, it then stretched it out. So we have a starting point and stopping point showing, showing the GPR data. So I'm going to do also do that with the relative strength. Now relative strength is a, a term that uh, Jill's coined just to talk about the normalized number one sensor as a function of distance. So what we're doing is we're looking at the number one deflections as you test through your section. How is that changing? Well just looking at the number one sensor you can see that there's a lot of high deflections early on in the section and then it kind of stabilizes at around 14, an average of about 14 and as soon mils. As we see that um, this is the first clue that hey there's something changing in this structural section. Look at the, the FWD data. However, we're not 100% certain because we don't have cores or we don't have another piece of information verifying that. But if you have GPR data, which is fully integrated with the Jill system, we're actually calculating the layer information right at the same place the FWD does its test, right at the loading plate. And we're able to do that because there's a specific distance between those two pieces of equipment and we can actually measure that precisely. So um, the GPS coordinates is on the same system, so we're tying into that, we're tying into the DMI, and we have both systems running on one laptop, feeding one data file with all the information. This is a plot of that data, and this is the, uh, using the GPR AP, which is auto processing technique. So we take our reflections at each point, and then we plot it as a function of quality. And one quality indicator is the larger the symbol, it doesn't matter if it's a triangle or, or a circle, the, the more powerful the reflection and the higher confidence that we'll have in that reflection. So again, the larger the symbol, the more powerful the reflection. Now take a look at this, this um, picture. As you can see, it doesn't look uniform throughout the whole file. As, the, as you move across, we see the bottom of the asphalt is right about here, and then all of a sudden it changes. And look at the bottom of the asphalt goes to about 8 inches instead of about 5.5 uh, inches. So there's a major jump in the in the structural section here. GPR is showing it and relative strength is showing it. 
two pieces of data confirming that you do have to take this file, separate it into two different sections, and make sure you're optimizing your design by using the right structural information. So again, this is the power of FWD and GPR, brought to you by Jill's Falling Weight Deflectometers. Thank you very much. Have a great day.